All right, this is part three of solving systems of linear equations using matrix row transformations. Uh, and here's our second example. So first thing we do is write the augmented form, which would be 5, 2, 1, and 2, negative 1, and 4. The more of these you do, the faster you will get. Now our goal is to make this first entry right here a 1. Right, so how do you make a 5 into a 1? Well, you, you multiply by the reciprocal. So we'd have 1 fifth times row 1 gives you a new row 1. So that's going to be 1. Now you have 1 fifth times 2. Well, that's 2 fifths. Again, you can't be afraid of the fractions. And then 1 times 1 fifth is 1 fifth. All right, we didn't do anything to row uh, 2, so we'll just leave row 2 alone at the moment. So now we want to make this 2 down here a 0 off of this 1. How do you do that? Well, you do negative 2 times row 1 plus row 2, and that's going to give you a new what? A new row 2. Now on paper, row 1's not changing. So 1, 2 fifths, and 1 fifth. All right, so negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. That's what we wanted to have happen. Now we have the rest of the stuff to fill, uh, to fill out. All right, so negative 2 times 2 fifths is negative 4 fifths. And we want to add negative 4 fifths to a negative 1. So if you need to go off to the side and go, all right, what's negative 4 fifths plus a negative 1? You go off to the side and do that and say, all right, negative 4 fifths minus 5 fifths. All right, so that's negative 9 fifths. Keep your scratch paper handy. Now you have negative 2 times 1 fifth, which is negative 2 fifths. We want to add that to 4. Everybody see that? Negative 2 times 1 fifth is negative 2 fifths added to 4. All right, so that's negative 2 fifths plus 20 fifths, which is 18 fifths. It will be easier to deal with fractions than it will be to deal with decimals. So I encourage you to leave everything as fractions. So now the question is, are we done with that column? Did you get a 1 where you want it and 0 everywhere else? Yes. All right, so now you go to the second column and say, all right, where do you want your 1? Well, you want your 1 right here in this spot where the negative 9 fifths is. So how do you make that negative 9 fifths into a positive 1? Well, you've got to multiply by negative, it's reciprocal, negative 5 ninths times row 2 gives you a new row 2. And so we'd have 0. 1, and negative 5 ninths times 18 fifths, that goes to negative 2. And if you need to multiply that on the side, go off to the side and, and do it. We didn't do anything to row 1, so we'll leave row 1 alone. 1, 2 fifths, and 1 fifth. All right, so now the only, only thing left to do is to make this 2 fifths a 0 using that 1. So how do we do that? You multiply 1 by negative 2 fifths. So negative 2 fifths times row 2. Add that to row 1, and that gives us a new row 1. So you'd have 0, 1, and negative 2, because row 2 is not changing. All right, so then negative 2 fifths times 0 plus 1 would be 1. Negative 2 fifths times 1 is negative 2 fifths. Added to positive 2 fifths is 0. That's all we wanted to have happen. Negative 2 fifths times negative 2 would be positive 4 fifths. Plus 1 fifth would be 5 fifths, which is 1. And then we can say, all right, x equals 1, y equals negative 2. Or, as an ordered pair, 1, negative 2. All right, they're not short. They take some practice to do. So follow the pattern. Pattern is go column by column and get your one where you want it, then get the zeros in the rest of that column, then go to the next column. Get your one where you want it, get the zeros in that column, uh, and then go to the next column. Get your one where you want it, zeros. That, that's expanding it out in, in terms of uh, having systems bigger than just two equations and two, and two unknowns. All right, so the next video is going to have examples of what, of what happens uh, using this method where you have an infinite number of solutions or no solution. All right, and then it will have an example of a system of three equations with three unknowns. Study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.